Today, I'm going to be talking about what causes eczema in adults. Eczema, or atopic dermatitis, is a condition that is characterized by dry or inflamed skin. While it can affect people of any age, it's more common in children. It's estimated that up to 10% of children have eczema, and 1-3% to of adults have eczema as well. Hey there, my name is Rachel, and I used to have severe eczema all over my body for the better part of 10 years. In 2016, I put together a project for a competition in my high school, to see if I could change something about my lifestyle to benefit my health. After nine months of documentation and many, many prayers, my eczema had completely vanished as a result of going gluten-free and making simple lifestyle changes. So what causes eczema in adults? Some adults could have had eczema as a child and it's followed them into adulthood. That's the story with my eczema. Others may have gotten eczema out of the blue. In both cases, environmental triggers could be to blame. Some of the most common triggers for eczema are allergens like pollen, pet dander, and dust mites, as well as irritants like detergents, soaps, and perfumes. Stress, changes in temperature and humidity, and different kinds of medications can also be triggers for eczema. Keeping a diary of your symptoms and activities can help you identify your potential triggers. Pay attention to what happens before and after a flare-up, such as what you ate, the activities you did, your environment, and the products you use. Through this method, I found out that if I eat something with gluten, it takes me one to three days to get a rash somewhere on my face, and it takes nearly a month for it to go away, so it's never worth it. Remember, everyone's triggers for eczema are completely different. Finally, there might be an underlying genetic predisposition that increases the risk of developing eczema. If you have a family history of eczema, you might be more likely to get the condition. It's believed that genetics may play a role in how severe your eczema is and how long it lasts. If you think you might have eczema, it's important to talk to a dermatologist so you can get an accurate diagnosis and proper treatment. In the meantime, avoiding your triggers and practicing good skincare can help you manage the condition. Check out some more of my videos to learn how to manage eczema. Thanks for watching! Comment below when you were diagnosed and what your journey's been like since then. Don't forget to like if you learned something new and subscribe to watch more of my videos. Thanks for watching! See you in the next video!